What's good, y'all? It's your boy Sanj, aka hey, your boy just got his PhD <laughs> in procrastination. Tonight, you know, as usual, on a Saturday, we're gonna be reacting to NF. You know, we're continuing the journey with a double reaction. Um, first song is gonna be Wake Up, and the second song is gonna be Notepad. Now, I have a feeling Wake Up is gonna be more on the feel side and no pads is gonna be more on the bars and the you know what i'm saying if this is your first time on this channel why don't you go ahead and give this channel a like you know go and check out other content um of course don't forget to comment down below you know some suggestions uh tell me uh where you guys at you know and how your day was and of course don't forget to hit the subscription without further ado let's hop right into it You spend your life in a dream that you can escape mm. Cause you live your life in a coma, you never awake Pretty good singer, huh? Actually bring more of his vocals on this one If you'd open your eyes, then maybe you'd see what's at stake mm. You're sleeping Sleeping. You make a lot of money and you live in a mansion and pretty much got everything that you could ever imagine. But you feel like even though you got everything in the world, you got nothing. So what you do then is you start going backwards. You run in a direction and you looking for something that isn't real. No, you know is that you just gotta have it. What you doing is sleeping and thinking that you're awakening and not. And the problem is that you don't know what you're after. So you put everything that you have into what you do, hoping that one day maybe you don't have to feel like you're empty. But as you get older, a lot of weight in your shoulders is getting heavy. Then you look back and you start to regret things. You only get Wow, yeah, yeah, wow. See, there are, I already, I can already tell what this song is about. It, it's about when he first said, you make, um, you make a lot of money. Now you live in this mansion. You pretty much got everything that you can ever imagine. But you feel like, um, though you got everything in the world, it, it seems like you got nothing. And, you know, see, see, I feel like this is something people need to realize. A lot of people who, who are rich, they got all this money, see them on Instagram, Facebook, whatever social media you use. Um, they're like, like, despite them being happy, like some of them are going through some stuff just like us, you know, like money isn't everything. Money can get you a lot of things, but you can lose a lot of like friends. You can lose just a lot of stuff you know you know it's like when you put certain um when you put like materials in front of like real relationships in front of you know you guys understand you look back and you start to regret things you only get one life and every time you look into yours you feel like everything you have is a waste and the problem and the reason you can never feel a hole in your life is because you were never away you spend oh. your life in mm. a dream Dream you can't escape. Wow, you didn't think like that. Life in a coma oh, I don't never awake. You wake up in the morning, but feel like you never got. And go to work and you're feeling like you ain't got a purpose And you're trying to get motivated But everything you do turns into a mess Like you ain't nothing but worthless And yo, you look around A lot of these other people you looking at To you, you describe as perfect So you point a finger at God And tell him to do his job And fix your life up Cause nothing is working And you would try to hide it And make it seem like it's nothing But really you feel like everything is crashing around you And you develop the problem And trusting in other people Which later became an issue That would mentally pound you You only get one life But every time you look into yours You feel like all you ever see are mistakes and the problem and the yeah. reason you can never move forward in life is because you were never awake. Wake up. You spend your life in a dream that you can escape. That's what I'm saying, man. Cause you live your life in a coma, you never awake.
Oh, I like that at the end. I like that at the end. That was, wow. I like, yeah. Because it'd be hard to escape from that dream. When he said, you know, you spend your life in that dream. And it's okay, you know, to work hard and to get all these things that you've ever wanted. It's okay. But just don't let, like, don't have that materialistic mind. Like, there's other stuff that's way more important. There's, you know, there's one person, like, I'm like, Robin Williams. Seemed like he was always happy. He had a lot of money. He was very popular. But, like, took his own life. Or, you know, obviously he had, like, mental health. Or, I won't say mental health issues. But he was just going through stuff. And there's other celebrities out there that they've taken their own lives. Despite the fact that if they've had um, all these things that they've ever wanted. It's just a car, you know. Cars break down. They're just Jordans. They're just shoes. They wear down. Like, it's just a house. House degrade over time. It's, you know, you just got to find something that you can enjoy where you can, like, you can be happy and love it forever. See, it's a, this is definitely real music. This is definitely real music. Something that I think a lot of people, especially nowadays, where everybody wants to have, like, you know, like the new designer wear, wants to get a nice change, wants to have a nice car. Everything is just like, I want this. I want to live luxurily, but living comfortably is, you know, if you can just have a house and just, you know, be able to pay it off with no problem, you're all set. And I truly believe that, you know? Even if I say, watch this song, or me not watch this song, listen to this song, <laughs> this song, people will still, won't change. They'll still have that mindset. And I advise, you know, you, you take this, you know, at le like, whether you like this song or not, just take the words and the meaning of this song and just try to apply it to life because, you know, before you get too old, the next thing you know, you kind of like lose everything. But I guess you still got a nice house, a nice car. So I don't know. Maybe it all depends on the person. All right, so right next, we're going to be doing Notepad. And we'll see what Notepad's about. I'm pretty sure Notepad's going to be way more bars. Like he's writing stuff down, writing his lyrics. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this one. Let's see what happens. You and I... We've been doing a lot together. And I look back and I just uh, I appreciate all the times that we had together. Mm. You know? I remember just going down in my room and you know, dealing, trying to deal with some things. And you've always been there for that. Always. Y'all saying that he's six you. foot, but like, I swear he looks short as hell. Ever since I was a young kid, everything we did, where as time went, got a lot of years coming up ahead of us, and ever since we met, mm -hmm. I knew we'd get somewhere, but the fact is, I ain't really, I ain't really know when. I don't really know how either, but I can feel the goosebumps, my skin writes in. I've been waiting for the moment, you and I can make it happen. A lot of people thinking we ain't gonna make it rapping, I ain't got a problem with them though, they don't even matter, we ain't looking for the people trying to say that we the baddest. No, I never mm -hmm. like that, came a long way. Never did it for the money We ever make it big I'ma give it to the family Looking back now Everything is looking funny You and I yeah. in the room writing Up late when the mood strikes us We don't care if they do like us Writing songs mm -hmm. for the haters We ain't even got yet Freestyling somebody turn the mic up Talking about things we don't really understand Talking about things we don't really comprehend Me and you trying to get it We ain't quitting to the end Now I'm standing on stage Trying to give it to the fans yeah. Oh, okay. So I wonder if he's talking about someone. Is he talking about like one of his good friends that he's grown up with and now? Like maybe um maybe his closest friend um does like a production or something. Maybe he does like the beef for his background. I don't know. It could just be anybody. Maybe he's talking about because you know, he was talking about his best friend. Um, he said you and I've been best friends ever since I was a young kid. So maybe he's talking about someone. And he's just I guess giving him or her thanks. So uh, this is nice. He's uh. This is nice. Took that karaoke machine from my room and uh, <laughs> we, we put it up to the CD player and played the instrumentals and man, we come a long way. A long way. Mm. I made a lot of mistakes. You've been there for the whole thing. Help me with the drama. Rapping in the car outside daily. We don't care if it's a winter. We don't care if it's a summer. I remember writing raps with the curse words. I just want to hear it. Seems like everybody does it. Did it for a while. Wasn't into all the custom. Tried to find who I was. Being everything I was in real life. Yeah. Got a lot uh, of anger. You know where I'm at. Put it all over the pages and wrote it in the raps. I like that. 
I actually like that. I'm sorry for causing it, but I like that. He said, uh, uh, he said, like, in every rap song, you know, cussing, but it seems like everybody does it. Uh, I'm trying to find who I was, being everything I wasn't. <laughs> Ooh, trying to, f trying to find who I was, being everything I wasn't. That's deep. You really got to think about that one. That was, mm, 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 mm. I like that. I'm mad, put it all over the pages and wrote it in the rap, said that we could be amazing. If I give us a chance now, I'm looking around like, yeah, look at where we at. Look at where we at now. We ain't made a chat, but they can hear us in the background coming. Some are gonna hate it, some are gonna love it. I'ma put it in his hands and let God do the judging, yeah. Okay. Remember me and you, always had you in the backpack, took you in the school, writing on you like it's nothing. A lot of people in the room see me scribble on the page, but they ain't got a clue, no, nah, they ain't got a clue. Mm. We at the beginning, hoping someday you and I can say we made it and we did it. You ain't nothing but a notepad, tell me who you kidding. I'm just running out of space, I'll be back in a minute, turn the page on me. Okay, okay, okay. Well, he might, okay. So maybe he's saying his best friend is his notepad. I like that. That's pretty nice if you think about it. Sometimes when even when I get like upset, whether it's angry or sad, sometimes I do write it down. Um, I have other alternatives like, you know, listen to music, um, or maybe work out. But writing it down is something I, I do. Um, I do it on my phone, though. You know, I have like an app. It's like a notepad app. Um, I do have notebook, like actually notepads to write on, like physically. But it's filled with math, and you know, I I just get sick when I look at the math. So I just don't. Yeah. Yeah. If you think about it, that you know, in a way, a notepad could be your best friend because when you vent everything, like whether it's anger or sadness, it's like nobody else knows. But that, I mean, of course, the notepad's a, it's not a person, it's an object. But you're still venting off to it as if you're venting to your best friend. That's pretty. That's clever. That's clever. I never thought of it that way. That is really clever. Hey, 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 hey. Nate, you want something? <laughs> that was nice. That was real nice. You know what's crazy is, mm -hmm. this just started as something that was an escape for us, you know? Mm -hmm. And now I look around and there's a lot of people out there going through the same things, you know, we've been through. And now this music we write is actually making an impact. It's crazy. Made an impact, dog. Made an impact. It's gonna vibe to it. Bro, this is it's pretty nice. It's pretty clever how he came up with that that concept. I like, oh, I like that at the end. I like when rappers do that. I like when rappers do that, actually. Um, when at the end, they'll say, like, either their name or, like, they just say something at the end, like, yeah, this is me. I killed that shit. I'm just gonna let you know. Just, I'm gonna remind you at the end of the song <laughs> that I killed it. It wasn't anything, um, you know, it wasn't anything too crazy, you know, the, um, of course, um, you know, it wasn't. He didn't really have, it was more of the concept that was definitely very impressive. The lyrics were good, but not too many like punchlines or bars or anything. It was just real, definitely it was real, um, a really good concept. Not that many, uh, not that many rappers where they say, you know, they're rapping about something, but you have to understand like it's a, a much bigger concept. Like you, it may seem like you're focusing on one part, but there's a whole bigger picture. It's like they're trying to get you to see that if you just think about it, you know. Um, if you, if you want, it's you not. Know, they're just kind of in a way painting a picture. That's the best way I can say. It. If you're looking for a rapper that can paint a picture in the head, Kendrick Lamar is probably number one up there when it comes to painting a picture. The Pimp a Butterfly, man, or Fear by Kendrick Lamar. Fear is a really good, probably one of the most brilliant and creative songs you know the concept of it is just brilliant and enough enough you know you um you know kendrick but you definitely opinion like top 10 like very like very creative concept making so it's, it's brilliant gosh
But yeah, um, you know, I'll see, I'll see you guys next Saturday for um, the next part of NF. Um, we're going to continue this journey until we reach this end, you know. Um, thank you guys for continuing going along this journey with me. Grab your snacks and grab your water because I can just feel like the next two songs are going to be nice. So, y'all stay breezy, man. Peace.